Hey guys, welcome to Nifty World. I'm Bex. Now in today's Movers and Shakers, we are shaking things up because we've got four incredible projects, two amazing NFT influencers that are advising on one of these projects. Plus, our bonus project has just been tweeted by a massive celebrity and NFT genius in real life and also in the digital space as well, which is probably going to send that particular investment to the moon and possibly help you to 10x your investment too. So all is to play for. We've got everything analyzed for you. And please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, hit that all important notification bell. You can also join our Twitter space each and every Monday so that you can ask all of these creators and many more your questions. And remember that no question is too small, but for now, let's dive right in. So we're here as ever with Warren Lincoln, who is our esports, gaming and NFT expert, has brought in, bringing us all of the analysis we need to make sure that we make all of our brilliant strategic decisions. And don't forget, this is already uh, just an analysis for you. It is not financial advice. This is always that launch platform for you guys to go and do your own research. So we have three big projects. Plus, if you hold on, we've got a little bonus for you as well. So Warren, let's kick off with our first project today. Yeah, so uh, first project today to speak about is Cheeky Corgis. Oh. Um, <laughs> those, um, these crazy crypto corgis um, are chewing, uh, are chewing blockchain, blockchain slippers and, and they're excited to find new homes in, with their crazy antics, Bex. Okay, uh, probably an NFT. If ever the Queen of England was thinking, I want to get into NFT, she's probably going to be buying this one first and foremost, isn't she? If we don't get a call from her butler after this video drops <laughs> i'll be annoyed <laughs> um also if you own uh, a corgi with the way they're creating their drop um you can literally mint your own corgi image live on their blockchain so your corgi is alive forever oh my uh, goodness well that's that's <laughs> the first that's the first sort of sold marker for me um let's start with some of the top lines about this so let's have a look at minting date minting price and then we'll go into why these are so special yeah, sure. So, so I'll talk about the um, I'll talk about the public minting date. That's going to be end of November. They've already told us, Bex. Keep an eye on the Discord, and they'll give us the firm date. So, I encourage everybody who's watching this video, go and get signed up to their Discord, and you guys will be be fully aware when more information comes. Bex, we have got information on the public mint price, though. Should I share that as well? Yeah, please do. I think that's really important. Yeah, so a really reasonable priced um, NFT project, um, 0 0.05 Ethereum, which in today's translation <laughs> kind of equates to $224, Beck. So, you know, a really, I think, comfortable place to enter. Again, we're not financial advisors. Do do your research. But if you love Corgis, it certainly is one for you. And is there anything like a whitelist or an early pre-sale that we can get in on? There is a whitelist, and and actually, um, the way they've approached the whitelist is is it's for those it's for those cheeky corgi lovers that actually want to want to be um, part of their their quite exclusive roadmap. So I think there are eight hundred eighty eight whitelist slots available exclusively for those early corgi adopters. Beck, so there's a whitelist. Absolutely, I know it absolutely is not at capacity yet, but you've got to move quick because there'll be some barking fans after this video drops, I'm sure. And is the whitelist price the same price as the public mint? Is that how it works? Whitelist price comes in at 0 0.03 Ethereum, Ooh. slightly cheaper. Okay, that's good. So you're getting in early, so you avoid the gas wars. You're getting in cheaper as well, so you're saving a bit of cash there. Okay, things are looking good with Cheeky Corgi. So let's go in, through in the detail why this is so special. Cool. So, yeah, they, they, they've really approached the, um, the tokenomics to Cheeky Corgi in a quite, quite an interesting way. They're going to be, for every PFP Corgi holder, there'll be over 8 million, wait for it, sploot which is going to be their, their, their currency, their utility token available for all Corby holders. Okay, so, so Sploot is the token currency. And what does that allow you to do with Sploot? What's, what's uh, the that's a, that's that? a great question. It's like <laughs> you're in my mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, so we don't know yet. Oh, no, I do have some information. Um, so, so what Sploot actually allows you, every day from commencing November, Bex, any user and any holder of a PFP um, NFT within Cheeky Corgis gets five sploot a day. Um, there are some um, milestones which are really interesting. 
when um, a user gets up to 150 splutes, they can do some really innovative things with their corgi, their, sorry, their digital corgis, um, <laughs> such as write their own biography, backstory, turn them into a superhero if you want. Uh, and also you can change the corgi's name. So the idea I think behind Splu is to kind of provide some level of closer connection with, the, with your digital puppy chum. Yeah. OK, that's really interesting because that kind of that kind of idea we've seen work really well with other big brands. So Junkyard Dogs, which, you know, is that we're a big fan of. They had the scrap system. And what that allowed us to do around Halloween is is um, turn that scrap that we collect week on week into a pumpkin pass, which then allowed you to then mint your own uh, Junkyard pup. So which was really cute and a really cute GIF uh, NFT there. So this is a similar kind of feel to this, but you can do this with the Cheeky Corgis, which is fantastic. Anything else we should know that makes these guys stand out? We're not minting them in the conventional way for a platform that we've, uh, I think, that's been widely, widely publicized yet. So, yeah, a little bit more different information to give you Bex and hopefully share with the audience to be quite interested. OK, um, so the way the minting process will work specifically with Cheeky Corgis is, is they're going to be utilizing their very own um, minting marketplace, Mintology. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, so Mintology, the idea behind it is going to be um, the first sort of NFT launch pad. But imagine you and I, you know, we want to create an NFT, but actually... How do we create, how do we go and speak to the developer team? How do we get the smart contracts right? How do we mint the thing, right? Um, Mintology is that one-stop shop available for developers that really can, can work with Mintology in a deeper way. So the marketing mechanics, the strategic planning, the ideation to make sure that it's a successful drop. Um, I, I'm really, I'm, I really like the fact that um, Mintology's mission is specifically to kind of bridge that gap and bring it closer together between the developmental process, the launch, the release, and also provide somewhere where developers can, you know, they, they can make mistakes and, and they can use experience to make sure that they're successful. Okay, so that's really interesting. So let's have a look at some of the headlines very quickly. Cheeky Corgis, there is 888 slots on the white list, which yep. is still available at the moment. So you can still yep. get in early on that, which brings down the minting price to 0.03. If you right. hit the public sale, it's 0.05. Yep. They have yes. a token system as well. So yep. that you can earn tokens, which essentially you can turn into lots of different things to do with your Cheeky corgi. So that roadmap is looking really, really solid solid already right. for the community and this is your opportunity to mint on something a new blockchain that is doing a lot of that great technology to kind of really bring in all of this stuff that we love about the nft space together which is mintology so really exciting stuff um i think the pricing sounds great i think the idea and the concept you know who doesn't love their kind of dog nfts at the moment i think it's a really solid play and yeah that sounds great so thanks for kicking us off with that is there any last minute things that i need to think about with with regards to this particular project i think that if you're if if you're one of those people that you love corgis absolutely this is for you but also if you're somebody who's got a great idea but maybe not the technical execution or infrastructure available that it takes with experience Mintology might be a really, really great place to, to, to kind of position yourself and start to get in contact with. So, yeah, a lot of, lot of I think, really different, interesting, valuable opportunity with Mintology. Fantastic. OK, so there we go. That's your first project of the day to look into. Don't forget, go and jump on their Discord, go and check them out on Twitter. Immerse yourself in that community and do your own research and know whether or not this is the right NFT project for you. Let's move swiftly on because the next project is quite a curious name and it's got some very big influences behind this so this is curious Addy's trading club quite a mouthful but mm. let's talk about who is behind this project as an advisor because this is pretty groundbreaking isn't it oh so yeah quite a mouthful curious Addy's trading club um let's talk about the team like you've said um, so first of all, May, she's a senior engineer. She was actually part of a billion dollar Silicon Valley business. She's held senior VP roles as well with uh, companies like Logbar and Bex. They were the world's first handheld offline translation device. Wow. Um, outside of May, you, you've got Ben to, to the other kind of corner. Ben's co-founded Stream and that was a, a blockchain project, which effectively it rewarded content creators in a better way, Bex. Um, 
Ben's been uh, been treading the, the footsteps of some very, very popular people. Um, his company raised $20 million and actually boasts uh, co-founder investors like um, the co-founder of YouTube. So that's a, that's a solid place to be. And finally, Anna. So Anna's backstory, uh, she's, a, she's a rock star crypto artist. Beck, she was part of uh, JV Loops. Um, and actually, that's where a, a not so well-known uh, guy that went by the name of Beeple used to contribute work to um, wow. before he became a megalodon. And, and you teed me up brilliantly. There's, uh, there's a couple of influencers, um, and I would say uh, quite significant ones um, that are sitting on this advisory board. Um, um, there's uh, Punk2476, Bex, you might know them as... Oh, previously known as Archic, maybe? Probably the most influential female influencer in this space right now. That is big. If she says something, the whole of the NFT space listens, right? So that is a huge kudos to have as part of this team. Very, very interesting. Who else have we got? Uh, we've also got Zeneca underscore 33. And, and actually between between these two people, you know, it's not enough that they've got over 200,000 followers globally. It's that their opinions can literally move markets. Yeah. And for me, Bex, when you've got a board, like I've just laid out to you, um, of experience, um, smarts, um, strategy, um, reach, and also a relevant, you're in pretty good company with the right kind of project. Okay. So that's, we wanted to tell you that upfront because we think that is something that is so exciting for this particular project and gives you that kind of clarity that there is a really solid team behind this, which is why it's one of our picks today. So let's go into the key details. Minting price, minting date. Let's look at the Twitter, the Discord. Who's on it? What's the community like? Fab, on their website, across all of their social, they've already said, so pre pre-sale, pre-mint, post-sale, public mint, all of the key with core detail I'd like to share with you. Well, well, listen, it's coming end of November. And they've made that clear on their website too. But here's some, here's, I think, the things, Bex, that always make you and I um, aware that something is, is on to a, to a good opportunity. Even though we're not too sure about the date, you can actually go on to the, onto the website, the, the, the Curious Addies Trading Club's website, Bex, and you can get listed um, to be, become part of that whitelist. And that is available at time of recording as we speak. So I would absolutely encourage anybody that's interested in being potentially part of, I would say, a seismic opportunity to absolutely jump on this. Are you going to do it? I've already done it. I, 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 Are you going to tell me? Oh my goodness, I, I, I'm going to go and do it now. Cut the recording. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am absolutely um, bullish about this. Um, 10,000 um, 10, PFP NFTs up for, for availability. The Discord numbers, Bex, are, are quite uh, mouth-watering. 34,000 uh, members in that Discord. And you and I, Bex, we're similar. We, we like to be a little bit sceptical, but yeah. I'm seeing that that the general chat is active. People are, uh, they're, they're, it's friendly. It's a great environment. It's a really nice place to want to be able to kind of hang out with people and, and really find out more information. So yeah, quite, quite the project so far. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what is it? Let's, let's kind of deep dive into that. Do, sorry. Do we have pricing at all for, for the mint? No pricing. For no pricing. Mint. And, and I promise you, if anyone can find pricing for mint, I'm going to be the guy to do it. So, <laughs> so nothing yet, but as soon as we do, we can share more of that. Absolutely. So this is your time to get in on this early. Now we've talked about the team. Let's talk about like the actual project and also the kind of long-term roadmap or any of those kind of details that we can share that would make you want to buy into this? It would be my pleasure. Um, cool. So, um, well, first of all, there's something which I've not seen anybody do that I think I'd like to raise. Um, the smart contract the NFTs are being built um, is going to include a no quibble money back, a hundred days, sorry, money back guarantee, which means that after the public launch bet, if you're not totally satisfied, you haven't lost any money and you can get a refund 100% of what you spent. Including the gas? Ah, uh, so here's the thing. Um, we're waiting to know where they're going to mint. Obviously, if it's Ethereum, there's a very good chance that gas might play a part. However, if it's one of uh, the other platforms, could be Solana, for instance, Polygon, Matic. Um, we need more information for me to answer that right. But mm. I, I do. I'm, I'm always confident when I hear the words refund and available and I don't need to argue about it. 
Wow. So there is an opportunity to get the price that you pay for this particular NFT back if you're not satisfied. Wow. I've not actually seen that before for a project. I think that's quite incredible. Um, Okay, that's really appealing. So what else is what else do we know about these guys? I've told you about the team. I've told you about something which I'm a big fan of, which is refunds. Um, Not that I'm always looking for them. (laughs) Um, But actually, what what is it? Right. Um, So uh, Curie's Addy's trading club um effectively it's a it's a game uh, or sorry they're they're looking to create games and what these will be is they're fun they're engaging the first game that's coming down the track to bets it's going to be released think of it as dual lingo for crypto um the idea is it's a fictional trading platform and players they, they can be in the simulation of hundreds of thousands of dollars which we'd always all like to be in that position um but buying and selling that crypto um, as well as um, showcasing your skills, you'll be rewarded in real rewards. So they're, they're looking at airdrops and also um, any support you provide out to the community. Being a, being a helpful spokesperson, um, there's going to be rewards and remuneration there too. So I, th- I think there's this ideology of that. How do you capture and engage and really win the attention of the audience? And if you can do that in kind of a hyper casual way, something you can pick up, you can engage with, you can have fun, you can drop when you need to, but also, Bex, you're not losing seismic amounts of money, real money, then uh, I think it ticks a lot of boxes and it makes a, it makes a lot of sense. Brilliant. Okay, so that is really exciting. I mean, every time I see Art Chick or Punk 2476 get involved in this, and also Zeneca 33 get involved in a project, it, my ears prick up and I want to find out more about that. I don't jump on everything. I didn't jump on the fatals. Like, let's just be clear on that right but i always think this is the time if you're hearing this but these buzzing about these projects get in and start looking at it and start seeing what might work for you as a, as a project and i think gamification is the next big step in nfts so this could be a play as you earn a uh, kind of opportunity for you guys this could be that residual income that you could get back from it in the long run it's educational it looks great amazing team behind it I think this is one to watch for sure. Let's move swiftly on to um, the the third uh, project on our list, which is, well, this is an interesting one. This is called Soul Stars. And Mm -hmm. this, again, the team behind it is quite interesting, but also the opportunity of this. And I suppose a celebrity kind of look and feel to this is going to be something that appeals to a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so, so first of all, th- this particular NFT P for P, it taps into the heart and soul. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> of of K-pop, which fuses art and music and fashion, and and I think a lot of um, a lot of real interesting um, um, but popular, you know, t- topics at the moment. Um, let's talk a little bit about the NFT. So they're illustrations of a character that's been created called Yuna. Um, I did say that correct. It is Yuna. I've double checked with the team already (laughs) to make sure I was pronouncing it right. Um, Yuna is going to be Korea's number one virtual K-pop artist. And um, she's also going to be um, uh, leading a a kind of K-pop, you know, that multi-millionaire digital lifestyle. So it's going to bridge, I think, uh, technology with real life. Um, and, and actually make it uh, make it quite an interesting journey for those that are jumping on this this uh, this NFT opportunity. Okay, that's really interesting. So K-pop, yeah. massive. Um, you know, we are seeing more sort of like three D virtual pop stars, and you know, you're seeing like holograms, like the Whitney Houston hologram that was playing at a concert. You're seeing stuff like that. It is becoming more and more the norm. So this is an opportunity to jump on something like this a little bit early and sort of start. You know, I think finding your feet in this weird and wonderful virtual world that we're presenting to you here. So, okay, let's go through minting date, minting price, uh, any sort of details about the Discord, the Twitter, what's the community like? Absolutely, yeah. So so I'll uh, I'll kind of share a little bit more with you. So Discord-wise, they're at 4,500. So again, good number. I, I, I have been keeping an eye on that Discord to make sure that there's that level of activity that I always want to see. Yeah. Um, volume of units that are available to to to, uh, to access is going to be ten thousand units. Um, I've been I've been really really focused on on when I can get my hands on one of these. And actually, Bex, I've got two bits of really interesting information to share with you in the audience today. Okay. First and foremost, public sale date 
there isn't going to be a pre-sale. Public sale date will be the, um, the 12th of the 11th. So literally uh, the 12th of November. Okay, so at time of recording, you still have a few days. So we would say right. jump in on this as quickly yeah. as you can to yeah. do research, of course. And, and as you can tell by leading this my voice, the other bit of information I wanted to share, and it's something, again, we're talking about firsts on the show today. Yeah, go on. Um, a, a simultaneous launch on Solana and Ethereum. Oh, okay. So that's quite interesting because there'll be people who have just only ever bought Ethereum and won't have, you know, got their phantom wallet set up or anything like that. And they don't want to, obviously, obviously if they don't want to miss out, they can still buy it on Ethereum. But equally, if you want to avoid those gas fees, you can go on to Solana and buy it there. So it's an option to please everyone. Oh, that is really innovative. Okay, interesting. And, and actually, um, I think at time recording, one Solana um, and 0.1 Ethereum, Vex, is um, is sitting that zero point one Ethereum sitting at four hundred and forty seven dollars, and I think um, that there will be a figure of two Solana to be able to purchase it in Seoul. So let's just make that really clear. If you're going into the Solana marketplace and buy a Yuna, you're looking at two Solana to spend. And if you're buying it in Ethereum with the Ethereum drop, that's zero point one Ethereum that you're purchasing it with. Now, I do want to just highlight that actually for a mint, that's actually quite high, 0.1 to come in at. So you've got to go and do your research, have a very considered approach towards this and make sure that before you part with that money, that you are happy to do that. But what the good thing is, is that if you were to buy it on, a, on, on Solana, you're not going to have to worry about that price plus gas fees. So there are options for everyone on there. And I think that's a really clever play from this particular project. So any last last bits of advice about this project that you want to share? If you're a big fan of K-pop, if you're also a big fan of being part, I think, of an intersection of evolved ways of digesting new, new digital content, then Yoon is definitely something for you. Uh, if you're a fan of Squid Games, Bex, you and I are, um, you know, and, and we're seeing, um, I think, a real shift of interest and massive interest in, in a lot of contents coming out of Korea. It's, it, it feels like a timely, a timely drop. Mm -hmm. um, Yuna's first song is going to be minted as an NFT, Bex, in December. Wow. Um, 3D images are going to be created of Yuna, and actually Yuna's going to be dropping an album as well, Bex, as I hear talk of an exclusive Yuna digital concert. So there, for me, again, we're not financial advisors. You know, we always tell everybody, do your own research, invest in what you love. Um, and uh, I'm certainly going to be looking at, uh, looking at gravitating towards um, bringing a UNA in um, and, and part, being part of that journey. It sounds so cool. It really does. So there we go. We're bullish on that one. So that's an exciting project coming to us from Korea at the moment. And if you're a fan of K-pop, this is definitely one for you. Now stick with us because we are going to bring you now a little bonus. And it comes in the form of a fuzzy mint. What is a fuzzy mint, Warren? I, I, I'm going to eloquently try and deliver this in a way that I think <laughs> makes sense. Um, okay. Um, your friendly favourite digital character um, circular in size, fluffy in hair, and uh, a little bit of a confused look on, on their face. How does that sound? Yeah, okay, that sounds cute. Who's that <laughs> going to appeal to, though? <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. I, 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 think it's the, I think it's how it's been created, and actually, I'll talk a little about the Fuzzy Mint team. So, um, a little bit different from most specs, and arguably, I'd say another first. Um, fuzzy Mint has been created by a, hope, a hyper mobile gaming studio. So when we usually talk about NFTs, Bex, I'm sure you'll agree, we're speaking about the project and the utility, and part of the utility is the gamification. Yeah. Fuzzy Mint have been created with the, uh, the invaluable experience of a mobile development studio. So the artwork is absolutely incredible. It's, it, it's gorgeous, in fact. There are, there are different fuzz traits um, that you can get across your, your fuzzy portfolio of access when you're picking these guys up. Um, there's a 10% um, share specifically on the royalties that are, that are brought into the community to distribute elf. So there's that, there's that wealth distribution value too. Wow. Okay. That's brilliant. A wealth distribution. So those are, th that's music to my ears whenever I hear something <laughs> like that. That's what I want to hear. Get me the money back. That's exciting. So these cute, fuzzy little characters can do that. Let's, let's look at the details again. So mint price, mint date, what's the community like? We want to know all that information. 
already available. So this is slightly post-launch. Um, they came to the market with five, bear with me, bear with me, 5,555. I'll put my teeth in. <laughs> um, fuzzy mints available. Um, as we speak, <clears throat> cost of, of a fuzzy mint to, to purchase is 0.055 Ethereum, which comes in to be around $246 plus gas bex. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, plus gas. Yeah, plus gas. <laughs> um, uh, uh, for me, um, for me, what I do like as well is, is there's a, a big commitment from Fuzzy Mint, which is they've got a lot of key charities that they want to work with. They also want to bring their fuzzy as a utility into an AR type format so they can really, again, fuse real life with um, the beauty of the blockchain. Yeah. Um, and um, I've spoke to the team, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bullish in what they're doing. I, I think when you've got a small team that really care, it makes a difference. Yeah. And, and also because they're they're starting that journey, and uh, Bex, you and I see a lot of things where we're not not comfortable with. Um, it's great being honest and transparent, and they're doing all that with the community. They're active on their Discord. Um, I'm uh, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, um, and uh, I, I look forward to seeing what's next from those guys. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That's a nice little bonus for you guys out there. Some fuzzy mints to finish off a fuzzy fun uh, analysis of the NFT space that we've got right now. So we look forward to seeing you again very soon, Warren. And thank you so much for this. Wow, what an incredible set of projects that we've got there for you. I mean, Warren and myself, very bullish on a number of those. And I think you guys, after doing a little bit of research, will be too. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, hit that all important notification bell. And please do join us each and every Monday on our Twitter spaces. We are here to bring you some of the top creators in the space so you can ask your all important questions. And remember, no question is too small. So we hope you do join us there and each and every Monday on the channel as well for these videos. But until until next time, we'll see you then.